guys. I thought it'd be fun to do a quick little what's in my pack video. I've got everything in the bag that I had for that last Linville Gorge trip. Uh, we got down into the 20s. I don't foresee any more cold weather trips coming up. It's starting to warm up now so I thought it'd be a good time to show you what I take out when it's cold. Alright now before we jump right in let's take a look at the weights. I put together an Excel spreadsheet and every item was weighed and every item has a checkbox next to it. So if I'm going on a trip and I think I need that item I put a check there and then it includes it in the weights over here and everything is categorized. Now this also works great for packing so you don't forget anything. If you're really looking to scrutinize every item in your pack and figure out how much everything weighs, where you can shave weight, are you using those items, um, this is the way to do it. This helped me more than anything else. Alright, so there's really no rules. People consider less than 20 pounds to be lightweight, less than 10 pounds to be ultra light, of, and that's your base weight. I consider myself to be lightweight. I could go ultralight, but I'm not gonna go without some of the things that I have on this list. Just not gonna do it. Alright, so we got 18 pounds, 18.4 pounds base weight, um, 33.8 pounds skin out weight. Consumables, this is a two day trip and it's including one liter of water just over five pounds EDC weight nine pounds um, that's what I consider to be what you're wearing um, your, your pants shirt socks shoes boots what have you I also include um, my cell phone in that weight um, you're probably noticing there's a little discrepancy with the packed weight which is 28 pounds in the EDC weight in the total skin out weight and that's because I do have some EDC stuff that I consider to be packed and I include my hiking poles in that my knife and my firearm so there you have it and like I said there's no rules so this is to help me I just thought I would share it and maybe it will help someone else Alright, so we're going to get the easy stuff out of the way first. This is what I consider to be EDC. I don't include this in my base weight, and that's also not included in packed weight. It is, however, included in skin out weight. So we'll start with the belt. This is a Bison 38mm um, last chance light. Very nice belt. Got the Sunto compass watch with barometer and really good watch cell phone, outdoor research hat, smart wool socks, this is an icebreaker tech light t-shirt, ex officio boxers, and these are Columbia convertible pants. All right, let's move on to the ribs pack. I gotta tell you, I love having this. This really helps distribute the weight a little bit better. You have a, it moves a lot of weight anterior to your spine instead of having everything posterior on your back. It kind of balances you out a little bit better. It's also nice because you can keep the things that you need easy access to up front. And you don't have to put a bunch of stuff in your pockets, making them all bulky. So let's dive on in. So on my right hand side, carry a map and a Ziploc. And this is my electronics bag. I've got a Ziploc in here just in case it starts raining I can waterproof everything. A screen cleaner. some SD cards. 
this is a cell phone holder that goes on top of the Gorilla Pod, which you can't see because it's holding the camera right now. We've got two types of USB charging cables right there. This is a USB extension cable. It's nice for the camera because you can charge the camera batteries, but it has a really short cable, so that's why I carry that. And this is a USB OTG cable. And once I use a battery I, and it's dead, I put it back in the bag like that. Keep my unused batteries in here, that way it's just easier, they don't get mixed up. I have a few more camera batteries in here, and I carry two extra rechargeable AA batteries for the GPS and flashlights. I carry this RAV Power 1600 milliamp hour battery. This, this thing works great for a couple days, keeps everything charged. I've got this Fenix headlight, love this thing. It is the HL23. And I also carry this is the Through Night Archer 1A V2. Great flashlight, but I never use it. I'm probably not going to carry this anymore. The headlight seems to be plenty good enough for what I need, and I haven't had to change the battery at all on the trail. And that's doing some night hiking. I carry a little bit of extra Zing It or Lash It. I'm not sure which one that is. Carry a little mini Benchmade Griptilian. This is the uh, Leather and Squirt. And that's it for that. Move over to this side. So I got some hand sanitizer, a little bit of Vaseline for your lips, um, sunscreen in a little Nalgene bottle, one ounce Nalgene bottle. And in the big compartment, I'll put snacks and stuff inside this, this side for when I'm hiking. Got some sunglasses, these are just an older pair of Oakleys. And I carry the SIG P229. Alright, let's move on to the pack. Alright, so I almost forgot to show you. These are the boots that I wear, the Salomon Gore-Tex. I think they're GTX. Correct me if I'm wrong, they're fairly heavy. I make the sacrifice because I like having that extra ankle support. For hiking poles, I use the Black Diamond FLZ Distance. I did do a modification to the end here where you take off the standard tips and you can put these flex tips on. This way, if you want, you can put snow baskets on them. Alright, so let's start with the outside of the pack. I carry two one liter smart water bottles. These things slide in and out pretty easy and they're lightweight and they're free. Out here I keep stuff that I want easy access to. I have an Arteric beanie. This is what is this? This is a smart wool PhD half a zip wool shirt. I've um, got a pair of Mechanics Fast Fit gloves. Keep a piece of Tyvek here. I think it's about 5 by 5 foot. That way when I have to empty the pack out I have something clean to put stuff on. And this is also my sit pad if I need it. This is my water kit. I'm gonna do this really quick. Two platypus, two liter bags, little mini carabiners on each one. If you've seen my videos, you've seen how I use this. A 
my gravity filter hose. I have a smart water bottle sport top in there and an extra cap for the platypus bottles. The Sawyer Mini. Makeshift cup. And just some more lash it. And that's my water kit. Pack cover. Uh, let's flip her over. By the way, this is the Osprey Exos 48 liter. I have nothing but good things to say about this pack. Absolutely love it. When I first got it, I wasn't so sure I would like not having that sleeping bag compartment, but I've actually learned to like it this way. Oh, and this also goes on the outside there. It's the Deuce of Spades. Weighs almost nothing, just a little trowel. On the other side, this is where I normally put my camcorder, and I have it on this um, monopod. This is the X-Shot. This thing is really lightweight, and I put a little piece of shot cord on the top here. If you watched one of my other videos, I lost this at one point. It just kind of fell off. So this way I can tether it to the camera, and I don't have to worry about it coming unscrewed and falling off. Um, over here, I have the Garmin Oregon 600T. And... Side pockets, just keep a carabiner with a little piece of lashet on there. This way, if I want to hang the bag from a tree, I can easily do so. And the other pocket's empty. Oh, this is just a little Accurite digital thermometer. It records the high and the low. It's kind of nice to know how cold it got overnight if you got cold so you'll know for next time what you need or on the inside alright this is my rain gear right at the top this is the outdoor research helium 2 got seal skin gloves waterproof gloves and this is the outdoor research Helium pants. Well, the battery just died on me, but we're back. Alright, so this is the Mont Bell Alpine Light jacket. Mont Bell Thermo Wrap pants. It's a kind of overkill, but they're nice. You just easy to put on. This is the Hammock Gear. Cuban fiber tarp in the hammock gear snakeskin. It's all rigged up with I got Dutchware gear wasps and tarp worms. All right, we'll get into this in a second. This is the first aid kit. I have a separate video on it. If you want to see it, I'll put it right there. This is my spare clothing bag. I've got icebreaker 200 weight base layer. Icebreaker 200 weight bottoms, base layer, smart wool liner socks, backup smart wool socks, a balaclava. I didn't even use this, it was there though. Didn't use the um, 200 weight base layer either. Um, got a cocoon pillow. War 
bonnet blackbird hammock it still has the original suspension on it I don't know if I'm gonna go to whoopies or not this is the Dutchware gear hammock sock I didn't use this either um, it's not very heavy it doesn't take up much room and it's in a Cuban fiber sack forget where I got the sack from this is my cook kit it's a Tokes 500 milliliter carry one of these little disposable measuring cups I got her on Amazon a whole bunch of them actually came very cheap piece of a bandana four ounce fuel bottle um, cat food can stove this is all over online you can find it how to make it big lighter I do have a mini and that's my backup this is my go-to it's much easier to use than the mini so it's worth the extra weight windscreen just aluminum and that's it Along. food bag this is what's left of what I had for my last trip I have a little small piece of Tyvek in there it's just nice to kind of lay everything out on that instead of in the dirt um, titanium long spoon and this is a foldable bowl I'm not gonna really go into what I have in there for leftover food keep this in a lock sack bag. Let me see. If you're wondering, that's that's what they are. It's supposed to be scent proof. Bear bag. Twenty five foot of lash it. Outdoor research. Um, I'm not sure how many liter bag this is, but it's a good size. It's a whole top waterproof bag and a carabiner. And one of these is the hammock gear 20 degree top quilt. And the other one is the 20 degree under quilt. And I think that's, oops, steaks. Tokes titanium steaks, six pack. Almost forgot. And the bag that we said we'd get back to. So in here I have some right in the rain paper. I didn't want to carry the weight of the whole entire pad, so there's just a few pieces and a pen. Some baby wipes got a tip from someone else let them dry out and then if you need to you just put a couple drops of water on them and that way they don't weigh much at all toilet paper toothpaste toothbrush q-tips dental floss and deodorant yep deodorant that's right right there gosh this thing hardly weighs anything at all um, so I got this tip from someone else um, what you do is you buy this stuff this body glide stuff you can get it on Amazon you take one of the containers throw the stuff away that's in there then you get whatever you want unscented you melt it in the microwave and fill it up. It, I want to say that thing weighs like a 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ounces. I always carry some extra fuel for the stove. There's four ounces in there. Some extra cordage. And this is my fire kit. Some matches in here from an MRE Got a little mini big lighter a 
cotton ball dipped in paraffin wax. This will burn for over 10 minutes. And a flint and steel. Alright guys, that's it. Appreciate you watching.